What is going on guys, Marijn here and welcome to episode number two of this My Shredded Lifestyle series where I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to lose fat, get shredded and get in the best shape of my freaking life. Now I am stoked to share all of this with you guys. Uh, what I'm going to do today is first of all show you my starting point, what I looked like when I started this gut. I'm going to reveal my whole game plan, you know, my diet, training, etc. So sit back, enjoy and let's get it started. <laughs> So at the end of my bulk, which was a few days ago, I was almost weighing 88 kilograms in the morning when I weighed myself. Now I think that is a very solid um, starting point of my gut. I didn't gain too much fat during this bulk. You know, I didn't like absolutely um, get crazy, crazy fat. I think it's still very, very doable. And I don't think I have to even like cut for that long in order to get lean, right? But I wanna get shredded during this gut. And shredded and lean are two different things. I'm gonna go next level, right? So it's, it's gonna take me definitely a couple of months in order to really, really accomplish that. But I think I will be decently lean in a few weeks already. Now, as you can see here in my physique update, this lighting here is not optimal. This is, you know, in my house, it is pretty natural lighting here somewhere. Um, obviously when I'm in the gym, I look way more crazy, etc. But that also has to do with like pump, lighting, angles, salt intake. You guys know the deal, man. There's a lot of things that play a factor so um yeah i'm not gonna lie this lighting is not perfect but i'm also gonna use this for the after shots and then i'm also gonna do um after shots like in the gym and with better lighting right um and i also have before shots in better lighting so i'm also gonna right now pop some photos on the screen that i took in the gym this last week of my bulk and as you can see here um it looks a lot different than this physique update here at home right um as i said it has to do with a lot of factors but i think on these photos even better than on the video you can definitely tell that i've gained a decent amount of muscle mass during this lean bulk that I've just done. Um, I've been bulking for about seven months with a little mini cut in between of you know about two to three weeks um, and that's it. So I've been bulking for a good amount of time uh, but really putting on strength and size. I've also been dealing with some injuries so I'm not gonna lie it hasn't been truly 100% optimal but yo fuck it it has been really really good I can't complain and I'm just excited to strip off the fat and see where we are at anyway that was a starting point so that was a few days ago so let's see where we are at right now when I woke up this morning so it's currently 8 36 March 14th I'm gonna weigh myself let's see where we're at and there we go 190.4 pounds so we're gonna note this down and as you can see, this is day number four. Yeah, as you can see, I write it down in kilograms because I'm from the Netherlands, we measure in kilograms here. Um, so I have to convert it first, but I actually like that it measures in pounds because it gives greater numbers, like more detailed, and also then my Americans can follow it. But as you see, I dropped weight once again. I was 86.6 kilos yesterday and now I'm 86.36. Now, if I would measure in kilograms, I would only get this number, 86.4 it will be. So I lost one and a half kilos in four days. You'll probably be like, damn, that's a good amount of weight loss. Well, keep in mind that it is indeed weight loss. It is not fat loss, right? And the reason you lose a lot of weight in the beginning, uh, when you come from a bulk, especially if you've been bulking for a decent amount of time, you work your calories your way up, you ate a lot of carbs, like I ate 4,000 calories a day, you'll be holding a lot of water. So once you start dropping your calories, you will also drop water weight. So you always see that the first couple of days or the first week, for example, you may drop a lot of weight like really, really rapidly, but then that weight loss will stall, right? So don't worry about that. It is not normal to keep losing that amount of weight. Um, if it was, that that would be amazing. Then I will be done very, very quickly with this cut. See, so yeah, the first couple of days, don't worry about it. You just kind of let it play out, see how much you lose. And after that, you want to focus on losing about one pound per week, which is about half a kilo a week, right? Can be a little bit more as well if you're overweight, for example, and depending on how deep you are into your cut. Oh man, weather fucking sucks over here. Rain every day. So I'm currently in whatever the hell this village is called, Markeraten. All right, it's very close to both Belgium and Germany. Um, I had a meeting here. It's about some legal stuff I can't tell you guys about. I hope to be able to tell you guys about it soon when it's all over and done with. Um, but we just got the meeting done and I'm about to eat my first meal. And the time is currently about one o'clock. There we go. I'm gonna take my jacket off for this. Okay. 
this is much nicer when it's warm, obviously, but we don't always have that luxury. That would be epic though. Microwave in a freaking car. Does that exist? That'd be that'd be sick. It's still really good though. So what I have here is the most basic freaking meal ever. You've seen this a lot of times on my channel. This is what I love to eat when I'm cutting. It's just so, when I'm bulking as well. It's just so easily made, right? We got 100 grams of pasta, 150 grams of chicken, both um, weighed out raw before cooking. Um, and then we have about 200 grams of veggies and 30 grams of green pesto. Just throw it all together and you're freaking done. I love to prep this meal, usually for like four days. And then when I'm cutting, I just have like less pasta than I have when I'm bulking. 100 grams of pasta is still solid though, so it's still a good meal. That was well needed, I'm gonna drive back home now. It's about a two hour drive in this traffic and like for a meeting that's like, you know, like 30 minutes. You know, it's like four hour driving today. Uh, but it is what it is, I'm just listening to a podcast while driving. So it's actually kind of like all good. It's raining, it's kind of peaceful. You gotta make the best out of it, right? Whatever situation you're in. I'm um, having a car pressure while I'm driving. This is a the peanut butter one. This one, I, I'm not sure if it has been released yet. They sent it to me yesterday and this is my favorite up until now. So I'm not sure if it's already in the store. All right, cooking the next meal here. I got some green asparagus, 200 grams. And we got some beef here. And in the oven, some potatoes. Here we go. I think it's a solid plate. I'm gonna leave some of these asparagus um, because I think this is enough for now. I am, however, going to add some of this. This is 5% mayonnaise, frit sauce, whatever you want to call it. Fry sauce, I guess. Per 100 milliliters, 100 calories, right? Taking about 15 to 20 grams, so that is only 15 or 20 calories. There we go. Solid pre-workout meal. So for those that are wondering where my current macros are going to be, I'm starting off at 2,930 calories. So I'm starting off pretty high. Uh, but keep in mind that I was eating 4,000 calories before this, right? So it's still like a big drop. And um, I think my body's really gotten used to eating more calories. I think I'm able to lose fat on this amount of calories, which is awesome, right? But that's something that I built up over the years because when I started lifting, I obviously couldn't eat as much as I do now. Now I have a bigger frame, right? So 2,930 calories. Uh, 200 grams of protein a day, 70 grams of fat, and then 375 grams of carbs. So that is like still like a good amount of carbs. But guys, on this amount of carbs, I'll actually be kind of like hungry still. So I am, you know, implementing intermittent fasting again. Check this weather out. This is just how it goes on all freaking day. In a way, this is like the ideal environment for cutting though. The weather is shitty, there's nothing fun to do. You just want to be inside your house, eat your meals, and the only reason you have to leave your house is to go to the gym. Perfect. Now yesterday actually was my birthday and uh, we celebrated this last weekend. Me and Veronica threw a birthday party also for her birthday, which was back in January. Uh, we did it at my parents' place because it's a little bit bigger and um, especially outdoor area, like we have a small balcony. We got a lot of smokers in the group. Um, so yeah, it was a lot of fun, like really, really cool night. And I think I might have a shot from the morning after. So let me roll that right now. Hello everybody, I have some hungover. My name is Ron. I'm not like that it. bad. I'm like, sorry. I feel pretty okay. No, I feel pretty okay. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling very well. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You burned a lot of calories dancing yeah. yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> but I also got a lot of them in with alcohol. Uh, so we're on a good level. It was a, it was a good nice level. party. <laughs> <laughs> got some really nice presents as well. I had no idea what to expect. First, my friends were kind of messing around. Uh, this is an inside joke. And then I got some uh, a calf guard. Okay. <laughs> But they're gonna be too big, we realized. Sorry, babe. Next. Veronica's leaving on Tuesday, so we got some tissues. <laughs> <laughs> some, Man, some cream to go with it. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, then we, we got something else as well. Before I got the actual present for my hair products. This is my new uh, toilet bag, you know? Yeah. Walk to the airport like this. So the actual present was something I actually really needed, which is a suitcase, because mine is broken. It's a very nice one. Big one right in time for the new travels. Get this insane bottle from Willem. I'm not sure if I want to drink this or just leave it as a decoration. We have it in the housewarming party. Yeah, we'll drink this together with Willem. And then something very nice from Raymo. Check it out. I do crystal together with Raymo, so some of you guys will know what this is. Check out the back. Friendship, success, happiness. Hey. Yeah, that's epic. Yeah, we got a we got a gift yeah. card, and we got a spa yeah. gift card. Hmm. Yeah, other than that. But Ferrari got a pink, of course. Like more and more stuff, like really, really nice. So yeah, that was an awesome night. Other than that, not really any parties planned anytime soon for the next coming weeks. Um, but it's usually kind of last minute anyway. And like preparing for summer a little bit, you know, taking it kind of easy now to go harder in summer uh, because I know that will be 
freaking wild. So I'm gonna do a voiceover during this workout because I was training alone. Stan is actually having a week off. Now I had a deal a week not too long ago, so um, I decided to keep going. I can keep going another few weeks before taking deal a week. I took one earlier because I was dealing with an injury. So um, yeah, injury wise, the only thing that's bothering me right now is my lower back and I have to go to a specialist which I'm going to after London, so in about like two weeks or a little bit less, I suppose, um, to have that fixed. And so I hope, you know, that will all work out. Um, physical therapist wasn't able to do it for me. Uh, we've been able to, you know, significantly reduce the pain because at some point I was having lower back pain, um, like outside of the gym when I was not training, etc. Like literally from the moment I woke up until I went to sleep, I had it like during the day. Um, that is completely gone right now. So that is really, really awesome. She truly helped me with that. Um, but now I still cannot like full on squat and full on deadlift. And obviously being, you know, 24 years old, I should be able to do all that. So there is um, definitely something wrong that has to be fixed. So when I go to that appointment after London, I will also keep you guys updated on that. Um, so yeah, for now, I just have to kind of like work around that. And that is mainly uh, when training legs, I simply um, am not able to do very heavy squats and deadlifts, right? But I'm still able to, you know, completely train my legs. I just have to like improvise. As far as upper body, I can pretty much uh, do most things. I'm like staying away from the standing overhead press right now. Instead, I'm doing it seated, for example. Um, that is that. By the way, I'm just rolling the workout here. I'm not going to really talk about the workout, but I'll put the amount of sets, uh, reps, etc., on the screen. So you guys can try this out at home. Um, so yeah, this is an upper body workout. And that is because the current routine we are doing is an upper lower split. So we switch from the legs push pull six days a week to upper lower. Um, but we're doing upper lower five times a week instead of like, usually you would do four times a week in a normal upper lower split. So we're doing upper body three times, but I want to switch back to calisthenics once a week. Um, on one of these upper body workouts. Um, but the reason I'm not doing that now is because of this lower back injury. I'm not able to do calisthenics really because with every movement you need like the lower back uh, really, really supports. So I'm waiting until that is fixed and then hopefully I can, you know, switch one of these upper body workout days to calisthenics. But for now we're doing this particular split but this is a really nice way of training and uh, volume wise it is not that high compared to a lot of other splits because you know, you're hitting your upper body three times a week. So the volume per workout is significantly lower than let's say you would hit it once a week, but it is way more effective to hit your body parts with a high frequency. So I'm very, very big believer in this workout routine that we're doing now. And um, overall, I'm just really excited to uh, do something else as well. And I felt like six days a week was very, very heavy, especially like if you went partying, one day um, and you like you only have one day rest a week, um, you don't really recover properly enough. So I did find that my recovery was maybe not optimal. So I think now with five times a week, it's gonna be perfect. Um, this is what I'm gonna do in order to maintain my muscle mass. Maybe I'll switch to another routine later during this cut, but it's probably mainly gonna be evolved around this particular split. Now, if you're from the Netherlands or you speak Dutch, I have something awesome for you because I wrote an upper lower guide a while ago, actually, but I'm not sure if I ever shared it on YouTube, um, but it has really, really good reviews. I would love you to try it out. Um, and it is not just a workout routine. It's actually a full on guide explaining everything that you need to know in order to make the best progress in the gym, right? So check it out. The link will be in the description box down below if you want to try out an upper lower split yourself. So that's it for this voiceover. That's it for this workout. And I'll see you guys at home. This is probably the best part of the day, post-workout meal. You guys are gonna see a lot of this particular meal in the series for sure. I hope you guys enjoyed this raw vlog today, like me filming myself, no edits really, etc. Um, the idea behind the series is to do one vlog a week to get away Wiro. It's gonna be like high quality, sick edits, etc. But then also do one myself or maybe two, right? Kind of depending on how much time I have how much support you guys show me. So make sure to hit that thumbs up button. For real though, like if I see that, you know, it's really taking off. You guys love this shit. Then I will really do my best to put out three videos a week. Um, but I'm going to promise that I'm going to release at least two videos of the series every single week. So I'm super excited to do that. So yeah, make sure to turn on your post notifications and let's get this shit started. I hope you guys are excited too. And if you have any ideas, any questions, any topics you want me to talk about in my videos during this series, then leave them in the comments down below. I would highly appreciate that as well. So again, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you very, very soon. Peace out.